Well, hello and welcome to the Texas Special YouTube channel. And for this in scale product review, we're going to take a look at this Atlas four bay covered hopper car. Now, I'm not quite sure what specific variety of covered hopper car this is, so we're just going to go with that covered hopper car. This is, of course, a modern hopper car, and you can see it is lettered for the DuPont Alathon Polymer Resin scheme, car number 36025. Now, it might be a little difficult to see, but all of the reporting marks, the car number, weight and capacity information, and car data are all legible. Of course, given it's in scale, you're gonna need a microscope, but it's there, you can see it, uh, you can read it. Car has cast on full height ladder here, cast on grab irons here, cast on stirrup steps all the way around. You have the lift rings here and here, which are prototypically correct. You can see the four bays underneath the car. It has truck mounted friction, or excuse me, it has truck mounted couplers. I'm pretty sure this thing came with Rapidos when it was built new, but they've since been swapped out with magnetic knuckle couplers. Um, the car has friction trucks, which tells me that this is probably what's, you know, that's the dead giveaway that it's probably a, a much older car than, you know, it looks. You can see the separately applied one piece plastic walkway around the, the edge of the top of the car, which is prototypical with covered hoppers. You know, modern freight cars don't really have a, walkways on the roofs. Those were pretty much a, you know, just a thing for like brakemen to go along the tops of the cars and, you know, apply the handbrakes. But with the lack of a brakeman and the improvement of train air brake systems throughout the, the years, the walkway on the top of the car was eventually done away with because it wasn't really needed with key exceptions. Your tank cars, some of them have walkways, if not on the top of the car body, along the top of the car body, and of course covered hoppers because that's where the loading hatches are, which let's take a look at those. You can see you have all of the latch detailing, and this actually looks like Atlas reused some of the tooling from their tank car models to make these loading hatches for these this covered hopper, which I get the economics, but it's not really a, a very realistic effort. Doesn't look like anyway. Uh, most of the hopper cars that I've seen, covered hopper cars that I've seen, they have long oblong or rectangular or oval shaped loading uh, slots if you want to call them that, slots, bays, ports, whatever you want to call them. Not necessarily these round tank car looking type uh, lids. I could be wrong, this could be prototypical, this could be correct for a DuPont car, uh, but all of the DuPont cars and similar hopper cars that I have seen uh, as a conductor, they don't have this type of, of loading uh, hatches on the top. Uh, if we look at the B end of this freight car, you will notice that it is very sparsely detailed. You have the handbrake wheel, you have a full height ladder here, you have a cast on grab iron, a cast on grab iron here. Uh, you have the support here for, of course, the car body and also the handbrake wheel, but there's no uh, triple valve, there's no emergency or service reservoir, uh, there's no uh, air brake piston, it's just, it's empty, there's nothing going on in here. And the underside of the car, you can see uh, there is, again, rather sparse detail, this, as I said, this is an older car, so I wasn't honestly expecting a whole lot of detail on this thing. Uh, when it's upright on the trucks, on the tracks, it does look good. You have free rolling plastic pizza cutter type in scale wheels. 
and as I said, truck mounted couplers. Now this is a fairly good looking car for its age, even with the little minor, you know, I won't say defects, but inaccuracies or inconsistencies, you know, the lack of hand, the, the lack of uh, air brake apparatus detailing, and of course the, from what I have seen in the real world, lack of uh, prototypically accurate loading uh, doors, you know, that's, other than that, cars looks great. And uh, we're gonna throw this on a train on Ethan Tate's in-scale layout and run it around the railroad and see how it does. <laughs> 